In the last video, I showed you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to construct a scatter plot. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put the linear regression equation um, on the graphic along with the scatter plot so you can take a look at those two together. So under your stats menu, you have an option where you can go over and calculate the linear regression equation. You're going to see under option 4 it says lin reg, which stands for linear regression, and that's in slope intercept form, and then there's also option 8, which is lin reg, which is what we call standard form. I personally prefer the, the standard form over the slope intercept form, so I'm going to choose option 8, but it really doesn't matter which one you choose. So once you do that, it's going to ask you for your X list and your Y list. The frequency list, we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, but one of the things that we may want to do is we may want to store our linear regression equation. And in order to store it, what we're going to do is under F4, it brings up the list of different um, um, equations. So we're going to go to the alpha, val alpha lock right there, the alpha button. And then we're going to choose trace, and it's going to bring up this new menu, and it's asking us for the, the store regression equation, what, what equation we want to store that under. And I'm going to choose option 1, and it'll automatically put y1 in there for us. All right. And then the next step we would do is we go down and we would calculate this just by going down and hitting enter. And when this comes up, it shows you your coefficients a and b. And don't worry, if some of you don't have the r square value or the r value, if you go back to one of my videos on linear regression, you'll see how to turn the diagnostics on and get those values to show up. So anyways, I'm going to go back in now, and I'm going to take a look at my y values. So if you click on the y equals button right here, uh, you'll see that my linear regression equation was brought over and stored in that first equation right there. Now I'm going to go to graph. And you'll be able to see not only the points, but you'll also be able to see the linear regression equation on here as well. So hopefully this helps you out with understanding a little bit about linear regression.